when God opens your eyes by the prophetic spirit and you see things you won't even allow the challenges of the present day to distract you from where you're going because by faith we are calling those things that be not as though they were and we're preparing ourselves we're responding oh we will go places this word the spirit of God will take us places Amen. hook up just hook up that's all you need just hook up hook up because I, I know the pilot <laughs> there is a chamber you know if, if, um, at times they allow some of these um, other class of pilots to sit by them they are not walking they are just there to sit and watch hmm? that's where I'm seated that's where I'm seated all of you are in the other side I'm seated there eh? and the Lord is the one piloting this thing and guess what guess what the man that is there hears what the pilot is saying so if he if he loves the people he will go and tell them pilot said you know and all this and that's what I'm doing to you guys now God said to me this month is the month for common exploits he said start this month by reactivating faith in them I command exploits to begin to take place in your lives in the name of Jesus Let's try and close. Let's try and close. Mm. Ah. First Kings chapter 8 verse 56. Come here. Who are you? Come here. Who are you? Eh? Your devourer. <laughs> Stand behind her. There's an angel by your side. Why you are coming? The angel said, permit me, sir. <laughs> they don't need me. Oh. They're doing something. They want to connect you to the unction of this message so that you can step into faith. There's an unction. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. That's it. That's it. They are connecting you to this unction right now. Thank you, Father. Let that angel do his work now. Bless and turn around her situation. Change the ugly calendar. And give her beauty for her ashes. That's it. It's happening. Beauty for her ashes. Strength for her fear. Barus. 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 Bina Tana Pataya. That's it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Lift your hands. Lord, what do we do? Do we still go on or do we just? Have they gotten it? Let me know. Hallelujah. See, my life has changed. I'm living here now as a man on fire with faith. I will never again allow what my eyes see to stop me from believing God for my miracle. Amen. <laughs> At this one and then I'll just give you two more we'll go first Kings chapter 8 verse 56 you know why God says say this because a notable miracle is about to take place here the person needs to hear the word of God and trust that things will happen I I googled the difference between wish and expectation Many Christians pray and wish that God will answer. Few Christians pray and expect an answer. Two different things. They said to wish is to hope for something that cannot or probably will not happen. So the beggar wishes that one day he will drive a car. He knows it is unperceivable.
because begging on the street will never give you a Mercedes Benz. Never. In this life. Never. But expectation is regarding as something most likely to happen now. That's his petition. So God says it, I take it now. That's what the Bible says, the expectation of the righteous. Ask your neighbor, when you were coming this morning, what were you expecting? Ask him, have you taken it now? Tell the person, take it now. <laughs> take it. That's expectation. You don't sit down after the prophecies, you're waiting for something to happen. No, you make it happen by taking the word. If I can push this thing in your head, the man of faith never experiences a down moment in his life, nothing ever discourages him when he sees trouble, when he sees chaos, he speaks to it and says, This one also shall pass. And he will speak the one he wants. Oh, oh, I'm still waiting for what will scare me. I'm still waiting for what will scare me. Nothing I can't be moved because I'm standing on the rock. First Kings chapter 8, verse 56. My, my tongue is like the pen of a ready writer. First Kings 8, 56. Are you there? This is Solomon praying. He said, Blessed be the Lord that had given rest unto his people Israel. Say with me, the Lord has given me rest. The Lord has given me peace. The Lord has given me prosperity. The Lord has given me help. He has given me healing. He has given me bliss in my marriage, in my home. He has given me my own husband. He has given me my own wife. The Lord has given me rest. This is how you read the Bible. Not, uh, what did Solomon say? Okay, the Lord has given him rest. No, no, no. He gave Solomon rest. The one that gave him rest is willing to give you rest. So you claim what God did for others. What God promised to do for others. And what God said he has done for you. Claim everything. That's why they gave you the Bible. It's called the book of the law. Claim everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Claim it. <laughs> according, watch. How did he give him rest? According to all that he promised. If he promised it, then it will happen. Uh. Watch, there had not failed one word of all his good promise. That is now your testimony. Yeah. When you are blessing your children before you leave, you will tell him not one word that I stood upon from my youth till my old age that failed. Your, your children will say, really? And it will give them faith. That they can also believe God for something to happen. Uh, he said, not one word. They had not failed one word of all his good promise. Which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. You know why God says, don't add anything to my word. Or, or subtract. Because my word on its own is powerful. When you add or subtract, you adulterate it. And we have been adding and subtracting. He said, honor thy father and thy mother. You say, yes now, yeah, because respect is reciprocal. If they, if they respect me, I will respect them back. Who, who said that? They did, it was not a conditional thing. If your dad was nice to you, when you grow up, you should be nice to him. No, honor him. He was nice or he was not nice, do your part. Stop adding it. Follow God's word the way it is. 
and you will get exactly what God promised. I'm a living testimony of these things now. Huh? Not one has failed. 